after activating or reconnecting with your your spirit being the soul your soul that lives inside that spirit is going to come alive and when that soul come alive it's going to there, there are going to be some signs that you will start to experience so in today's video i want to share some of the signs with you with a personal experience and a experience with others that i've had contact with if you want to know that you are in the awakening season or you have been awakened you have your soul and your spirit that the soul lives inside it's now connected with you and you are now living on a new earth please stay tuned after this short commercial break and i'm going to give you all that you need welcome back from that short commercial break for those that are new in this place my name is rose keldy and this is a rose keldy ministry platform so today we are going to look at some of the signs that you begin to experience when you have activated your soul or when you have reconnected with your spirit and somebody will ask me what is called by you know this activation or this awakening what what actually what does that mean awakening simply means that you have reconnected your be your spiritual being with a physical one and the soul has come alive so because of this you are because of the activation of the soul that lives inside that spirit you are now awakened you are no more sleeping you are now sensitive to the spirit world and the physical world you are not only you know actually living here on this earth alone but you're also connected with the spiritual world and uh, i have taught in my previous video please if you have not watched that video it will be very important especially if you want to uh, activate and reconnect with your spirit being because in that video i have talked about you not being the just a physical being but then you were made with a spirit and that spirit is a being that this physical body is covering and when that spirit or that being, that energy inside of you is not connected with you, you will struggle in life and things are going to be difficult for you. You wouldn't know your purpose here on this earth. You have a lot of, you know, miss, uh, how do you call it, dissatisfaction. You are never going to be satisfied with anything because you are not created by the divine to be alone. And that spirit inside of you, that pain is supposed to help you identify your purpose and your, your calling on this earth. And when you do that, life is going to be, you know, very easy, even if you don't have all the luxury. But when you find yourself in your purpose, you have peace of mind and you live in this new world that everybody is talking about. So what are the signs? The first signs that I want you to pay attention to when you started this journey, when you're making that prayer, that prayer, I have said it in the previous video as well. When you started making this prayer and you are, you are connected and you believe what you are praying, these are some of the signs that you're going to see. You are going to see that your discernment is now very sharp and clear. When you have intuition, it's very, you know, it, it, you are so sensitive to the spiritual world and you, you will start getting all the, the information that you need to get. How will I explain this? You know, let me say this. Uh, when we are on our spiritual journey or when we are in a religious lifestyle, we have created a voice in our mind that, oh, we need to hear this voice to know that this is God speaking to us. Oh, my daughter, you are blessed. You know, that kind of way. But I just want you to understand that every time 
the spirit that lives inside of you is trying to connect with you especially when you have started this journey to reconnect and when you reconnected this spirit will be so active you will be speaking you you will hear you will hear it so clearly but you will not see anybody around you your discernment is going to be so sharp so clear that anything you hear you need to obey you have to start obeying the voice that you hear sometimes we call this voice someone speaks in my ears sometimes we say i hear a little voice a little tiny sometimes it is a feeling you feel it sometimes you will hear it sometimes it's a sign that is showing you maybe do not go somewhere or go somewhere do not take this decision or take decision i want to use a recent thing that happens to me it's about our weather that morning when i was going out when I opened my door, I heard it so clear. Get back home. But I said, no, let me go. I am, I am set. I am ready. And I picked my children and we went out in that weather. That day has been the one of the days I can never forget in my life. It was so terrible. So terrible that it got to a time I was afraid that I could not even go and pick up my children from school because everything stopped working. Every transport stopped working. Taxes, I even picked taxes, but tax will not the taxi will not take me to where I'm supposed to go because of the road, because of the weather. And I said to myself, I heard this. Why didn't I obey? You are going to hear these things. These things are going to happen because your spirit is alive. And when there is anything that is going to happen that is not good, that you need to avoid, you're going to hear it. When there are some things that are good that you need to you know, proceed, you're going to hear it. So this is the time for you to start obeying the voice that comes in your spirit that you hear. And I said, it might not be a voice that is somebody telling you sometimes when they try everything maybe they come in your dreams maybe they come with some signs around you maybe they're telling you something and you are not hearing they will use a physical being to call you or to come to you to give you that information and you need to listen and if it is coming from that spirit that being inside of you it will feel good the feeling is good, but just that you will be, if you, you will not, you will be unsure. But this is what I'm saying. Just obey whatever that comes in the spirit and that feels good. You feel good about it. You feel, you feel not good about it. If it is something that you feel not good, then don't do it. If it's something you feel good about it, go ahead and do it. I have so many examples I can tell you as a personal thing. Another thing that you're also going to see is that they are going to show you some of the things that you need to connect yourself with or that when you are doing, you are actually empowering that spirit being that is inside of you. And this can be the element that you are made up with. The, 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 your part of the, your life. The, you know, we have four types of elements that we are made up with. But one is, you know, stronger and one is powerful. In this time, they are going to show you which one is the powerful one that you have. Again, I want to share this example with you. For me, I have a multiple ways of using this element. But then when it comes to water, hmm? Whenever I, my, my hand touches water, there is this, you know, feeling that, especially when I start in the kitchen and I want to wash dishes, I start hearing deeper, deeper revelations, deeper things, deeper thoughts. But when, before I did not know this, but when I have started this journey, I have because I have also understand that I need to listen to myself and obey whatever because I've seen that whenever I obey it works whenever I do not obey it come against me I started to now pay attention to the things that are happening around me and I found water to be one of my in my greatest you know uh, uh, elements that when I wake up in the morning and I take a glass of water and I pray over it hmm? 
and I pray over it, whatever, if I want an immediate, immediate effect, I will see it happen. When I use water and salt to do cleansing, I feel that vibration. It's just like you know things that you do not know before. Another thing that I also want you to pay attention to is, the, is, is your calling. There is something that when you do, hmm, even when they do not pay you for, you feel happy. You feel satisfied. Or even when the, the money that comes out of that is very little, but yet it gives you joy. That is what you are called to do. That is the thing you are supposed to pay your attention to. It would shock you that when you pay attention to that thing, that thing that you think does not bring you money, that thing that you think that cannot put food on a table for you, you will see that out of that, you are living your life better than even waking up to millions of what? Of dollars or whatever uh, currency that you use in your country. Because there are many of you watching right now, you are taking a job or you are working at a place where you are well paid, but you are not happy. And there are some people here watching me. You are getting, you are doing a job that is not paying you well. But when you do that job, you are so satisfied. You are so happy. There is this feeling that is not about material things. That is not about money. You are okay. If you have watched me up to this place, my dear, I would like you to like this video. Keep this, this video a thumbs up and support this channel, support this video to go far. If you have not also subscribed, subscribe to this channel because we are, all, we are here for the deep information that is not easy to get out there. I love you and thank you for liking and being part by subscribing to this channel. You are just fine. There are th there is some things that right now when you sleep and they wake you up, you will not complain. You will do it and you will do it with joy. That is your destiny. That is your calling. And I want you to pay attention to that. Because most of us or some of we have different calling and different ways of uh, some are not for money some are not for material but some people they are poor naturally to be rich so the little thing they do they are going to be rich some people too because they are they are not the the material type of people they are not the the the, the money type of people what happens that they still need money in life so what they do is they work for what they will live for but they are not working to you know have all the millions and all the dollars in the account but they are just fine i hope i am making sense to you know to you right now i think these three are the most important thing that when you start seeing these signs you have to know that you have now just activated your soul you have now activated the awakening spirit in you you are reconnected with your spirit being because most of us when we come here on this earth we forget about ourselves we forget about our calling and we disconnect ourselves from our being the disconnection of our being is what makes us to forget why we are here but the moment we reconnect ourselves the soul in that spirit come alive and that soul is also activated and now you will see that you become a complete being see there's another thing i want to say before i go this thing is that when this thing happened do not be in rush to be fulfilled it's going to happen you know with a level you're going to move from a level to a level and do not be in rush to see the, the most powerful things or do not be in rush that when you see a little thing you want everybody to hear about it no this is the time that you have to be silenced and keep this secret to yourself and use this secret for some time, for some years. What I'm telling you right now, I know it for about some years back, but I've never shared it before. That is why I'm telling you in my previous video that I felt it, I was just betting to share it. This is the time for me to share. And this is now the time for me 
to give you this information. Thank you so much for watching. God richly bless you. I hope this journey brings you joy. Even though that it might not be an easy journey, but it is worth it. It is worth it every single minute, seconds of your life. Start this journey now and change your old life, your old earth, and give yourself your new life and your new earth. Because this new earth is everything that you need. Once again, I'll bring this video to an end and I will see you in my next video. Shalom, peace. Bye-bye.